Hey guys, if you're serious about taking your Madden game to the next level, head on over to patreon.com slash maddenhelp12. You will receive the best blitzes, schemes, tips, glitches, money plays, and defenses anywhere. So if you're interested, head on over to the link in the description below. What's up guys, we're back with a mini scheme out of the uh, Chargers playbook. It's going to be out of the pistol. The main play you want to come out in is the PA tight end corner and the only audible or hot route that you want to make is put the running back on the swing route. Uh, you see we the main reason is for that deep post. It's unbumpable. Uh, as you know, it's one of the best routes in the game. Uh, the reason for the swing is so we can hit the running back in the flats. Uh, very powerful post patch because of the way cloud flats in every zone except hard flat plays. Uh, and then, of course, we also have the drag or the corner route to the tight end. The drag route is going to get open against uh, any type of zone that, where they're getting pulled up. And then the uh, corner is going to get open against man uh, and if they're playing hard flats. So your main reads want to be the drag and swing to the corner to the backside post out of this play. Or it can be the running back to the tight end on the left to the corner route and then back to the backside post. Either one of those reads combos will, will be good. Uh, the audible is the tight end corner uh, and the only adjustment you have to do is drag the tight end on the left and put the running back on the swing route and you see we have a backside post um, to the right side uh, and if you flip it you know of course you could flip it and it'd be a backside post to the left but here we're making everything look the same uh, we still have the running back on the swing route uh, we still have a guy on the drag underneath that's going to be getting uh, the zones pulled up so he's going to be open underneath and what makes this play so tough is we have the running back in the flats again uh, like i said very powerful but that backside post is going to be open against man uh, and any type of zone where they don't drift back and play it because um, if they do drift back you could always hit the drag uh, and if they uh, don't drift back and play closer to the line of scrimmage you could always hit that post uh, and the great thing is we could get a post on the right side and the left side of the field so on this play you either want to look at the running back or the drag first and then you're going to look at the backside post uh, and then your final read would be that tight end crossing uh, on the field so those are your main reads on that and then the next play it's in your audibles is the pa deep cross and once again it's the same setup uh, you want to mainly uh, drag your tight end swing your running back to the left uh, but you can also put the tight end on the left on a streak and then drag the tight end on the right and then swing the running back to the right uh, so then, you know, it makes a little bit uh, different read so they can't uh, cross man or anything like that. But the thing with um, is that you're getting a post to the left side of the field. It's a little bit deeper so you could hit it uh, against like a cover two uh, or even a one play touchdown against a cover three if you put the left side of the tight end on a streak. Uh, and then you can put the back side uh, receiver on a comeback and you're going to have that post coming across the field because then you can block the right side of tight end for a one play touchdown deep down the field against a cover three but you see it also gets open against man to man as well so we have a post to the left side of the field and a post to the right side of the field out of our audibles uh, the run play uh, which is the halfback slam is not really good uh, so I would not recommend running that if you do want to run the ball you want to come out in the halfback stretch and of course you want to run it to the side with the least defenders uh, you see we get great push there uh, this is a little bit different because that tight end that you're running the ball to the opposite side uh, is going to flip. So it's not completely uh, unnoticeable when you flip the play because he's going to jump up and the other tight end is going to jump back. But you see it's still very effective uh, against uh, defenses, cover fours, cover threes, cover twos. It's, it's really good, especially when you get a double team on that end. We're able to get it outside. So I hope you all enjoy this quick money scheme out of the Chargers pistol formation. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more great content. And be sure to check out Madden247.com. And if you do enjoy this content and want to help support me directly, head on over to Patreon.com. Not only will you be supporting me, but you're going to be getting the best content that you're going to find anywhere online for Madden.